flowing tent. I know that in your 25th year, I remember back way back when it was, uh, you know, Bob might be in the, the dean of the coaches at that point. Have you kept in touch with him uh, over the past few years and, and since, especially since he's moved back to Wilmington? You know, I haven't been in touch with him like on the phone and that, but when I see him, um, Bob's always been great to me. He was great to me um, the first day I got the job. He, he called me. He was, to this day, I think, the time we beat him and called me in and told me that we have a chance to win the national championship will go down as one of my favorite Bob Knight stories because he also told me how to deal with all you guys and how to help the players deal with you and how to stay focused on the task. and. Um, Really, 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 and he had a good team then too. But um, you know, him and Jed were were good friends, and uh, and I consider uh, Bob Knight not a great friend like that because I don't get to spend as much time with him. But uh, a guy that I've always and still do respect, and I think I think he respected our program, and that meant more to me than anything else because I value his opinion on things. Um, a lot, and uh, I'm glad he's back. I, I, you know, like everyone else, I think in sports, uh, I still hope that uh, someday they can mend that wound because the building should be named after him, the town should be named after him, the floor should be named after him. Uh, what he did for basketball, both at Indiana in the Big Ten, uh, you know, his records I don't think will ever be broken, and. Uh, so for that, I'm I'm still a big Bob Knight fan. This was my original question, but going off that a little bit, what do you then admire, or what did you admire about his coaching style? I mean, I'm sure it was a pretty good idea of what you liked, but what yeah. about his coaching style? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I appreciated that he both had the strength and courage to throw a chair, you know, I, I can't do that. But no, I... I I just like that what he stood for to me was right. Was it always handled perfectly? I mean, people say I don't handle it perfectly, but but I, I think, uh, you know, I still think for the most part, and this is what I always get a kick out of with, with any of us, is those players were Bob Knight guys for life. And... Uh, you know, still it's the Quinn Buckners of the world that, uh, you know, uh, still feel the same. I talked to Isaiah Thomas when he was here for the Piston thing. And, you know, there is an appreciation. I mean, when they s still call him coach, it isn't even Coach Knight. Coach kind of says it all. Like, he's the one guy they can call coach. And um, I, I just, I respect that. I respect what he stood for. With academics, I respected what he stood for in uh, in how he handled the NABC and all the things early on in his career, and I respected that he got frustrated on some things. I really do respect that because I do the same thing, and um, we don't always handle it exactly the right way. And I don't know if he did, and I don't know if I do, but but I uh, I still think that. We're making a big mistake if accountability isn't the biggest thing that we all have to deal with, you know. And I think there, there was accountability. And uh, I respect that a lot. Thank you.